Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of The Daily Dose of Gatsby. What is The Daily Dose of Gatsby? Well, besides being a mouthful, it's essentially something that I'm going to be putting together about every day where we go over something Gatsby related. So we're going to start with the basics, but we're going to go into covering uh, some more advanced topics eventually, talking about different Gatsby themes and plugins that can be used to enhance or build upon your current Gatsby sites. So this episode, we're going to be going over the very basics of how to just install or set up our first Gatsby site. So assuming you've gone through the install process, make sure you have Node.js, NPM, make sure you have the Gatsby CLI tool, you're going to need Git. If you have those things installed, which you can find documentation on the Gatsby uh, docs website for how to do that, once you have those installed, you're good to go uh, and we, you can follow along with this video and we'll get started. So let's take a look. So I've opened up a command line here. I have a place on my direct, or in my file system where I want this to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just type in Gatsby new and then whatever project name I want. So I'm gonna do Gatsby video because I'm making a video on Gatsby. And then I'll go ahead and hit enter. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and create my new Gatsby site. It'll take a little bit of time and you can see it does require Git. Now that it's finally finished, we can go ahead and change into that directory. And all we need to do is run Gatsby develop. and this will start up our Gatsby development server. So what this is actually doing is this is running the Gatsby build process. So it's going through and it's building essentially the site for us. Now we are running the development server or the develop server. So what that means is any changes we make to files are gonna be automatically reflected. So let's go ahead and start by just going to localhost 8000 and you can see we have our Gatsby default starter site here. There's not much to it, it's pretty simple. We have our first site, or first page, and then we have a second page that we can go to. You can see there's some images, some, H, some markup, things like that. Let's actually take a look at what is in, or what's creating this, these pages, what's in this project. So the best way to do that is open up a code editor you can use uh, whatever code editor you're typically used to using. If you don't have one or you're looking for a different one, I would recommend VS Code. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and go to open folder and I'm going to select Gatsby video because that's the folder I created or the project I created. And you'll notice that over here, we have a whole bunch of different files. So when you run that Gatsby new command, it's going to create a bunch of different files for you. Most of what you're going to need, at least for the code itself, is in the source directory. But there's some other files here that we're going to talk about in the future, such as Gatsby node, Gatsby config. For now, let's go into source and go into the pages folder. You'll notice there's an index.js. And this markup for index.js matches this home page. So you can see it says, hi people, welcome to our, your new Gatsby site. We go to our code editor, it says, hi people, I can change this to say hello. And if I save this and I go back, you can see it's immediately uh, shown here. They didn't have, I didn't have to refresh the page, I didn't have to do anything like that. Another important thing to know is that any JavaScript file created in this pages, direct in this pages directory is going to end up being its own Gatsby page. So as long as it's a React component, it's going to create its own page for you at that URL. So this one is page-2, and you'll notice if I go to page2 here, it's slash page-2. So it uses the name of the JavaScript file as the actual slug or the path. Let's go back to the home page here. And let's take a look at this markup one more time. So this might look confusing. If you're new to Gatsby, if you're new to React, 
this might not make sense how we're having some tags that aren't even HTML tags. We're mixing it in with HTML tags and it's all inside JavaScript. So what this is called is it's part of React. It's called JSX. And essentially it allows you to add some HTML markup and custom component markup and it turns it into something that the browsers can then eventually uh, read. So it turns it into uh, JavaScript. So by importing React here, creating the component with the JSX, it's going to then render itself into a bunch of just react.create element statements uh, that are going to be turned into JavaScript. So that's all we're going to do this time. Next time we're going to actually look at how to create these different uh, components and subcomponents. We're going to talk about how props can be used to send data back and forth uh, using components. We'll talk a little bit more about JSX, so if you're not familiar with it and it looks a little confusing, you're going to start to see how it kind of can come together and start making sense as you're building out your Gatsby site. So that's it for this time. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.